Hey Aquarius, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a weekly reading for you. So we're going to take a look at the topic this week is if we're being honest. All right, so the first three cards I'm going to pull are just words that the two of you might describe this connection with. You might be in a connection, it might be a new interest, it might be a relationship, it might be a marriage, whatever it is, okay? So we're just going to start with three words that the two of you might describe this connection. All right. So let's see. And then we're going to take a look at what the two of you might say to each other if you're being honest. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Ooh, we have beautiful agreement. exchange. All right, so I almost feel like it goes like this. <clears throat> so when it comes to this connection, because of a beautiful exchange that the two of you have, you have some type of agreement as to how the two of you are going to move forward. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Let's get some... <clears throat> Let's find out what you would say to this person if you were being completely honest and what they would say to you and how it, this applies. You know, this might be something that hasn't come into fruition yet. There might be questions around this or, you know, maybe you're looking for evidence that we even had this conversation. All right. So let's see. So your energy could be on top, it could be on the bottom, whatever resonates for you. You know, if this story represent, or repre feels like it represents you, take it. If this story feels like it represents you, take it, all right? So let's see. What would you, if this is you, which, you know, for all of my readings, I'm saying that the top row is you. But of course, in a general reading, it could be flip-flopped. So what would you say to this person? All right, so this is heart chakra. So this comes from a place of love. I love how you carry yourself in the external world. You admire this person. You love how they move. You love how they, you know, have exchanges and dialogue with people and with you. All right, this is, this is admiration. So you would tell this person how much you admire them. Maybe this is something that you have told them. All right. What else would you say to this person? Wow. I can love without condition. That's, that's pretty big. That's pretty big for, <clears throat> for Aquarius to say. So this person might be very, very special to you. The truth is, though, have you said anything like this to this person? Or is this just something that you feel to yourself? What else would you say? I have faith and trust in my intuition. Okay. So the red is right now. So this is how you're feeling right now. So we're going to clarify with tarot. All right, so let's let's see what this person would say to you. <clears throat> I have challenging thoughts that distract me. Okay, red right now. <clears throat> so that's going on right now. And then they would say, I have dreams that speak to me about you. Also happening right now for this person. That's... <clears throat> what they're experiencing right now. And also, this person, throat chakra, would say what I don't like about you, right? Look at that, right now. All right, so we've got to, we have some clarifying to do because I feel like this person in some way is is torn here. There's something that they don't like or there's something that they are distracted by in some way. Your vibration here seems 
higher than this person's. All right, so, so let's see. All right, let's take a look at your faith and intuition that you trust right now. And then let's take a look at the challenging thoughts that are distracting this person. All right, so we have Knight of Pentacles, card of Virgo. This person might be distracted by thoughts of a Virgo, Virgo or they're distracted by how quickly or actually how slowly this is moving between the two of you. Why is it moving slowly? Why is it moving slowly? Let's see. Why is it moving slowly? All right, and then we've got Eight of Pentacles. So this person doesn't feel like you are putting in the effort into this connection. They might feel like you're not matching their effort or they feel like they're putting in more effort. Doesn't mean they are, but that's what this person is feeling. All right, for you. Faith and trust in your intuition about, all right, so nine of pentacles. So that's interesting. I feel like your energy is coming across somewhat single to this person. It's like you're very, um, you're focused on your own world right now a little bit. Why is that? And then we've got the five of pentacles. All right, so you're a little you're a little gun shy. You're a little gun shy to dive dive into this completely. What is this agreement about? What is the agreement about? Look at that. We've got 6 of wands. You know, I feel like you both agreed at some point that that this could work between the two of you. And now your energy is gun shy when it comes to this person. And this person feels feels it, feels your lack of effort. And they're interpreting it as a lack of interest. Let's go right over here to what this person doesn't like about you right now. Look at that, we've got seven of wands. They feel like, they feel like you're defensive. What do they feel like you're defensive about? Three of swords. So I feel like when this person wants to talk about When this person wants to talk about our past relationships or just our past in general, this person feels like you're defensive about what has broken your heart or who has broken your heart in the past. All right, if we're being honest. And it's confusing to this person because the two of you in some way, whether it was verbal or nonverbal, you know, agreed to move this forward. And this person is frustrated by how slowly this is moving. So let's take a look at the dreams that speak to this person about you. And let's look at the fact that you're saying you can love without condition. Why are you saying that? Nine of Swords. Hmm. Nine of Swords. That's worry. <clears throat> and that's, um, you know, that's worry about things that aren't based in fact. So you could almost say that, you know, you might be making assumptions about this person 
it's almost like you would say that you can love without condition because you want to hear you want to hear that they can as well. I feel like that's something that you want to hear. <clears throat> Let's see one more. <clears throat> Princess of Pentacles, which is the page of pentacles. So you're worried that something something is limiting this new opportunity that you have with this person. You might feel like you are limiting this new opportunity that you have with this person. One more. Okay, and then we've got the Six of Swords. You're, you're worried that the two of you aren't going to see this agreement through. And again, this could be a marriage. This could be a, an already committed relationship. <clears throat> I do feel like this is something you would say because you want to hear this person say this back to you. All right, so let's look at the fact that this person has dreams that speak to them about you. All right, and then we have Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> I am losing my voice. All right, so the Seven of Pentacles, the dreams that this person has are about the future, are about what is next between the two of you. So wherever the two of you are at, whatever the next step would be, I feel like is what this person is dreaming about. Let's see. All right, and then we've got the Seven of Swords. They're worried that their dreams are deceiving them right now about what's next. They're not trusting their dreams. So <clears throat> they're concerned that their dreams are giving them a message about you. And the fact that you are gun shy about moving forward here a little bit. One more. All right, look at that. Seven of Cups, this is the dream card. You know, this person is dreaming about what your cup of love would feel like. Let's see what this exchange is. The exchange... We've got Knight of Cups in the reverse. So Knight of Cups, that's Pisces. You could be dealing with a Pisces. I feel like there was some type of it was beautiful and emotional. This exchange was very, very emotional. There might have been mutual tears here about this agreement. Mutual, there was a lot of emotion. And I feel like both of you consider it beautiful. There might be an awkwardness here between the two of you about what to do next. Like this person, I feel like has the most stress if we're being honest about, you know, what is coming here. They don't, they don't know. So let's, let's get a couple of cards for this person here. Just a couple of additional cards for more information. At last, at last, happy, aw. So this feels like a very, um, it almost feels like a movie because This person is saying, basically, at last they found somebody that they are happy with. 
and it's moving very slowly and they feel like their dreams are either trying to tell them something as to why you might not be jumping in head first. It's perfectly okay to take things slowly. This person wants to move things along faster than you might want to, all right? What they don't like about you is that you're being defensive and, you know, it could be that your defensiveness is breaking their heart or you're being defensive about a broken heart. You know, this person might feel like they want to say to you, I don't want to talk about, you know, why your heart was broken in the past. At last, I found somebody that, that makes me happy. You. Anyway... Let's get a couple of oracle cards to see. One for you and one for your person. I feel like you are waiting on this person to, you know, possibly revisit emotions that the two of you exchanged. Like the two of you two of you haven't gotten back to an emotional place like you're trying to recapture that you want this person to know that you can love without condition but I feel like you want to hear you want to hear something from this person first this is you this is your person hmm body positive <clears throat> so Again, we have the number 27, which breaks down to the number nine. Why are you being resistant here if we're being honest? I feel like it has something to do with you. It might have to do with body image. It might have to do with something that you don't like about yourself. So what's happening is you're creating a resistance to this person. Even though you want to be around this person, there's something that you're not comfortable with within yourself and you're giving off a message a de you're giving off a defensiveness to this person and this person I feel like is disappointed because they felt a happiness that they hadn't felt in a long time and they're I feel like they're disappointed and all right um for your person here we've got look at that full intimacy So you're at a nine, they're at a 10, all right? So they're ready for a new beginning. You're not quite there yet, all right? You're not quite at a 10. You haven't either closed out something completely or there's something about yourself that maybe you're not comfortable with. All right, that is what I have for you. Aquarius, you've had some rough readings lately. Um, <clears throat> not sure what's going on there, but I don't consider this a rough reading. I just consider it, you know, if we're, if we're being honest, that is what's going on. If, if, uh, if you're the person on the bottom, then you're experiencing this frustration, maybe a little fear that your person seems somewhat defensive when at one point they were, you know, very emotional with you. This person down here, I feel like, is ready for full intimacy. This might be about sex, okay? Um, in fact, it very likely could be. Maybe you're not comfortable going there yet. And this person is frustrated by the pace and the seemingly lack of effort on your part to make that happen. All right. All right, Aquarius. Doesn't mean you don't want to. It just means that maybe it's too fast or you're just not quite ready yet. All right. That's what I got for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, certainly reach out. If not, no worries. I will talk to you next time. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.